Both teams are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. He's taken down at the 13-yard line. The Blue Devils and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That brings up second and nine. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. Call it a gain of seven yards. Let's make these babies. That'll make it second and four. Hey, hey, alert cat, alert cat. Kill, kill, kill. Hey, hey. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Quick pass, intercepted. He's taken down around the 41-yard line. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. From the 41-yard line, first down. And down he goes, right around the 22-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. There's a strike complete. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Quickly incomplete. From the eight yard line, it's second down. Touchdown, Pack. spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense. When you have a quarterback who can do things like that, the coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. He makes the PAT. A four-play, 41-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Looks like they're ready for the kick. At the 21-yard line, NC State's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tackle at the 31-yard line. He makes his way to about the 42. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. Fires it out. To the 20. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Oh! 
This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Quick throw. And they make the stop at the 27. Field. He's out of bounds at about the 41. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. Throws out on the screen through his hands. Second and 10. Ball on their own 41. He's at midfield. Brought down to 37-yard line. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating the nerves on the quarterback. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. Y'all know, Red. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down right around the 30. Number 30 makes the tackle at the 30 yard line. That makes it 33. Slings it. They pick up two on the pass play. This young wide receiver has the raw ability to make some big plays. So that was a good job there by the defense to stop him for a short game. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Fakes to the back. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. You know, sometimes the defense just has a beat on an option, and there's no way the offense can gain positive yards on them. This is the 10th play of this drive. No, 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 check that, check that. We got Mike 52 right here. I got you, I got you, son. I got you. And he's immediately tackled. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gain of two. You know, this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop. So that's a good job here by the defense to slow him down. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. North Carolina State gets set to kick this one away. Tries to get around the corner. 
He's pushed out of bounds at the 28. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length to the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Gets to around the 42. Gain of 14 yards. First down. Four down, four down. 43 is the mark. Kill, kill, kill. And a quick throw. Gain of five on the play. That brings up second and five. quickly to the tight end, and he's tackled right around the 48-yard line. He makes it to the 48-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. He really got a hold of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So at the end of one, North Carolina State in front, 10-7. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. North Carolina State holds a field goal lead. Knocked out of bounds at the 31. bring him down for a loss on the play. I'll give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 28. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. One yard loss for the halfback. That'll make it fourth and six. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Gets out to about the 31. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Scrambling around. They bring him down. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 29-yard line. Tackles him hard at the 46-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Let's go, Jordan. Pop, pop, motion, 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 motion. motion. He's tackled at the 46. That's a gain of eight on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Nice run, and he's brought down. Call it a gain of five yards. 
first, first down. down. Larry, Larry. Need it up. Yeah. Easy, easy. Do not. Check, 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 check. check. Two more. And he's taken down around the 23 yard line. Number 33 makes the tackle at the 23 yard line. First down. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. From the 23-yard line, third down. Almost intercepted. He looked a little surprised just to have the ball in his hands. By the time he knew what was going on, he bobbled it away. Duke can tie it up here with this kick. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he just drilled it from long range. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. On the ground, up the middle. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. From their own 36-yard line, second down. He's taken down at about the 49. That makes it first and 10. Wide open receiver, and it's incomplete. It's second and 10. Ball on the 49 yard line. He tackles him for a loss. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Hey, check, check. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on. And this one is a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. They'll get him for a loss. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Two minutes left in the half. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it third and three. Check four, check four.
Now he tries to buy some time. He takes off, and down he goes around the 35-yard line. First down. Easy, easy, easy. Let's roll, let's roll. Tackle at the 40. Number 43 makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. That makes it second and six. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. He's at the 40. He gets hit out of bounds at the 36. Gain of 24 yards. First down. From the 36-yard line, first down. He's in trouble. And they make the stop around the 26-yard line. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. That's a great tackle at the 24. That makes it first and 10. Down. Black 80. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Brought down at the 20. Number 11 brings him down at the 20 yard line. That makes it second and six. Fires quick. He catches another. And he's level at the 11 yard line. First down. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. This is the 11th play of this drive. Drop back a yard. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. This return should be the last play of the half. He'll need to break it all the way to give his team the lead. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. So we've played two quarters. Duke leads 13-10. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Very close game now as we start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Blue Devils continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Good tackle there in space. That makes 
it second and two. Fires to the wide out, first down. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game. That makes it second and six. Got him, but he's going to lose yards here. Loss of a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. He punts. No, he won't. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Duke is up by three. Motion, motion. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. About a seven-yard pickup that time on the pass. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Caught with room to work. He goes out of bounds at the 35-yard line. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. Under pressure, looking for the corner, decides to slide. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Makes it out to about the 36. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Hands it off. He's knocked out of bounds around the 46-yard line. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. And he's hit immediately. And he just gets rid of it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49. Quick throw. And he's tackled at the 45 yard line. Number 92 with the tackle at the 45 yard line. Third down. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 44 yard line. 
That's good for a gain of one yard. So they're going to go for it here. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Duke holds a field goal lead. Makes it out to about the 43. And he is drilled at the 31 yard line. Gain of 12 yards. I'm coming after you, 25. I'm coming after you, 25. Here I come. Let's go. He's on the run. He's at the 20, and he hits him hard at the 16. Call it a gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. 23 in the fight. He makes his way out to about the six. Watch 14. Watch 14. Yeah, let's go second. That'll make it second and inches. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. That'll bring, That'll bring up second, second and 15. It's second and 15. Ball on their own 20. He scrambled. Runs with it, and he's got room. He dives, and he'll be marked down. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's got it with room to run. And he's taken down at the 38. He yeah, adds a whole other dimension when he's on the field. He took that short pass and turned it into a huge game, all because of his blazing speed. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down right around the 38 yard line. No good on the play. That makes it second and 10. Gets it out quickly, and he's tackled right away. That's good enough for another North Carolina State. First down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That makes it second and eight. Quick throw out to the receiver, and down he goes, right around the 14-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, the Duke leads 20 to 10. That'll bring up third and inches. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Mike 52, Mike 52. Roger, Roger. Take four, take four. Turn 
Tackle after a decent run up the gut. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. That brings him second and goal. From the 14 yard line, second down. Tackle around the four yard line. Keeper. It's do or die time right here. Fourth and goal from the three. Fires in there, got it. Touchdown. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Duke is up a field goal. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. Don't think the other receivers didn't see that hit. They'll be thinking about this guy when they're running their routes, too. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Incomplete, it's knocked down by the defense. Number 25 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. Going long. He goes up and gets it. And he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. That receiver had no problem running by this secondary. With the speed this kid has, you've got to keep him in front of you. Because if he gets behind you, you're in serious trouble. Now, yellow eight. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop around the 23-yard line. That's a deal of the that brings, that brings up second, second and one. Down. Watch 25. Down. Blue eight. Yeah. Tackled yeah. after a decent pickup. Game of six yards. That, that, that makes it first and ten. Down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Duke has a three point lead. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. This is the ninth play of this drive.
And he hits the PAT. A nine play, 75 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 27 17. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Down. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That is a textbook tackle right there. He leveled his shoulders and just put his whole body weight behind that one. Great hit. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Right down at the 43-yard line. a bullet. The senior makes the catch. From the 31 yard line. First down. Seven yard line. Eagle, Eagle. That makes it seven and six. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. He can't hang on to it. This is the eighth play of the drive. That's a great tackle. The 19-yard line. Call it a loss of three yards on the play. Third down. They'll line it up again on third down. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. My 52. Just over a minute left. Let's go. Throws complete, big loss. Loss of five there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Come on! Hey, hold up, hold up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. On the ball, on the ball, quick, quick, quick. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It has the distance. And it's off the upright, no good. That would have made it a one possession game and set up the onside kick. But by missing it, that's probably the nail in the coffin. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. You know, when this defense went over the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be living. You know, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. They're about four yards away here on third down. Gets out to around the 38, and that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. 23, 
Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one, 27-17, Blue Devils. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Well, this was shaping up to be a really close game, but they did what they had to do, made some big plays, and were able to pull away. Duke could have just as easily found themselves on the other end of this score. That's how even these two teams were coming in. But they played the better game today and should be very happy about the win. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.